I'm about to spend the next 24 hours right here in the jungle in Southeast Asia. I've got a backpack with a hammock and a knife. I have a handful of rice. I'm hoping to tonight maybe catch a frog or a fish. I also plan to boil up some rice and some bamboo and maybe go for a little night hike tonight to see what animals or insects I can find out in the wild. If all goes to plan, I should come across some spiders, snakes, and who knows whatever else the jungle wants to throw at me. It's 38 degrees. It's so humid, constantly sweating, but please stay tuned until the end of the video to find out what really happens here in the jungle. For no one's been allowed into the national park. Just like that. And there we go, snakehead fish. Two freshly caught frogs. Look at the size of some of this bamboo. It's got to be like 30 meters long, maybe 15, 15 centimeters diameter. So I'm just walking along this path and I've come across what I think is a trapdoor spider. They're the spiders that live underground and they have these webs where when an insect walks over the web, the trap door opens, spider reaches out, grabs its prey and the door closes. This is what I'm talking about. So these webs are what the spider makes and as an insect approaches it or walks over it, it triggers this trap door. What happens is the, the trap door opens, the spider then comes out, it grabs its prey and the door closes shut. That is what you call a trap door spider. Well, that's what I think it is. <laughs> so I've just seen what I think is a lengur monkey. L-E-N-G-U-R, I think is how you spell it. I'll put a little image up now of what they look like, but I wasn't able to capture the moment, but it was up there, there were three of them, and they were feeding on young leaves. Check this out, I've just come across a pit viper. So what I'm doing is I'm spending the next 24 hours in the jungle right here in Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia is a place that I come to several times a year. I love coming here, I love filming videos, I love the beautiful nature as well as the beautiful cultural people around here. So I'm going to be camping out tonight, I've got a hammock with me. So the plan is to spend 24 hours here, I'm hoping to catch some food, eat some wild leaves, maybe some nuts and also look at the beautiful animals that the jungle has to offer. If you've seen the video that I put out a few months ago then you realise that I have been here before there's a spot right by the river, there's bamboo, there's fish, there's even frogs. And the plan tonight is to do the same sort of thing, catch something to eat. And if you're wondering about the temperature, it's about 37 degrees, 38 degrees, and I swear it's almost 100% humidity. My clothes, my face, everything is just drenched in sweat. It's so hot, have a look at the terrain I've got to go through. And there's the river. Can't wait to jump in that river and go for a swim. Whew. It is so hot and humid, sticky, sweaty, just dripping. Can't wait to go for a swim. Can you hear that noise? That noise is actually an insect called a cicada. This is where they normally live. They live in the ground. They live in these burrows. And if you move this, you'll see a hole underneath it. And that is where they live. And they've basically just dug up lots of clay and created this clay funnel, which is their entrance. <laughs> the thing about those cicadas is they're so loud. When you're in the jungle, all you can hear are cicadas. So I'm about two hours in. I've got about another hour and a half to get to the camp. It's a camp I've been to before, so I'm fairly familiar with it. I'm just here on my own. 
and the last time I was here I had a bit of a jungle guide which was such a great experience but I've decided to come back and do it on my own however in the last few days this national park has been closed because there are lots of wild elephants that have come really close to the entrance to the national park therefore no one's been allowed into the national park back there I saw loads of destruction bamboo and rattan that have been crushed and eaten by the elephants lots of fresh elephant dung on the floor as well so fingers crossed tonight it will only be me and the camera no elephants snakes tigers or even bears but I've got a feeling we might come across one or two tarantulas and I finally made it to the camp And there we go, snakehead fish. Oh yeah, got it on the lure. My first ever snakehead fish. Mm. Smells fishy. Time for a dip. Now that I've had a swim, what I need to do is get a bit of bamboo so I can cook up my fish and also I've got a few more supplies in my bag that I want to cook up. So what I'm doing with this bamboo is I'm just taking off the edges just to, because it's really sharp once it's split. And that means I won't cut my mouth or my finger when I touch it. So that just takes off the sharp edges. Listen to those frogs.
two freshly caught frogs. Well, dinner was good, so it's now time to go for a little walk here at night time to see what wildlife there is out here in the jungle. Did you see that tarantula right there? My hammock is like four meters away, if that. Look at it, it's purple. There are so many spiders and bugs in this rainforest. There's a tarantula right there. Check out this giant cricket. It looks like he's only got one leg. There are so many spiders. I think that's some sort of jumping spider. Oh look, there's a catfish. Check out their little frog. Look at these tadpoles. Right, it's time to go for a midnight dip. I'll tell you what, that fish and the frogs and the rice and those leaves are so good. Proper jungle meal. All I've got to worry about now are the snapping turtles and the snakes. Oh, midnight jungle swim, oh yeah. Well, that was a good swim. I'm gonna head back to camp and probably go to bed. So there's my hammock and my tarp. And right there is that giant tarantula. Did you see that? Hey, that was pretty cool. Well, that is me done for tonight. See you in the morning. Good night.
Good morning. Well, I slept really well, really nice and peaceful with the sound of the river and the flowing water. Dinner last night was good, frog, bit of rice that I boiled in some bamboo. And then there was also the fish. One thing I really enjoyed was going for that little night hike. Seeing all the different creatures, the animals, the spiders, in fact, I even saw a little wild deer, a very small wild jungle deer, but it was really hard to capture on camera. So for breakfast, I've just had a bit of leftover rice from last night, a bit of the leftover sticky rice, and I think that should keep me going for the next few hours. The plan now is to make my way back slowly, see what there is on the way, and maybe stop off at a river or a waterfall and go for a swim. So if you're wondering how I lit the fire last night, well, I used one of these. And unfortunately, when I was going through my camera this morning, it turns out there was a few scenes last night that I didn't film. But just to show you, this is what I used. It's called a fire steel. You strike this striker along the metal. It produces sparks that are really hot. Now, all you have to do is grab some dried leaves or grass, put it down on the, on the ground, strike this onto it. It might take five attempts, it might take 10 attempts. Eventually, you get a flame. That is how I lit the fire last night. And if you're interested in these, you can get them from bushcrafttools.com. And while we're on the merch plug, t-shirts, like that. But they won't be as smelly or sweaty as this, unfortunately. And that is me done from this camp, all packed up. I've removed all the litter, fire's gone out. Let's move on. And do you remember this tree from last night? I looked in there and I found a tarantula. Let's see if he's still there. So this is that tree that I found last night. And I looked in here and down there in that hole is exactly where, oh look, there he is. He's just come out to say hello. <laughs> How good is that? Normally in the daytime, the tarantulas, they stay down deep in the holes, but I think I've just woken him up. Look at that right there. There's a Lenga, a Lenka. I think it's a long tailed monkey. So good. <laughs> well, I'm about one hour in and there's about an hour and a half, maybe two hours to get back to the village on the outskirts of this national park. So do you remember that pit viper I saw yesterday on the way to the camp? Well, it's still there. What I think he's done is he's probably eaten, or she, they've probably eaten a rat or maybe a bird. And they're probably just sleeping for a few days just to digest it. That's the only reason why I can think that snake is still in that tree. I'm really happy with this species of animals and creatures that I found. I could have, could have done with finding a few more snakes. Especially last night, I was hoping to come across a snake or two. But this morning, there was a three meter python. I was in my hammock, I was looking at the hammock into the, over along the river, and I could see, well, maybe it was about two and a half meters, this big python just swimming along the top. Then it dove down, and I was looking for about another five minutes. I was waiting for it to come up. I don't know whether they go down the bottom and they stay there, or whether they, or whether it just came up somewhere else. Long story short, about a three meter python just where I was swimming last night and this morning. And something else I saw last night, I was using my torch and I could see on the opposite side of the river, these two green eyes. And then they quickly turned and ran back up the rock and into the jungle. It was a sort of cat, maybe about a meter, a meter long. Maybe well, just over a meter long. Big long tail on it. Had a bit of a, almost like a black, it's like a checkered 
tail. Maybe black and maybe orange. So I guess that cat had just come out of the jungle, down to the river, because it is dry season now, so it's probably come down to the river to drink some water. Check out this monkey I've just come across on the path. Check out this lizard. So I've made it off the jungle path, which is mainly animal trails, back onto this hard gravel. This goes on for a few miles and then it gets down to the village. Well folks, that is it for this video. I finally made it back to civilization, to the village. I've run out of water, I'm so thirsty. But I just wanna say, if you're still watching, please subscribe please hit the red button. Don't forget to share it, give it a like, and drop me a comment if you know what animals or insects they were. And don't forget, if you wanna buy one of those fire steels, check out the link below, bushcrafttools.com, and there's also the merch as well. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Goodbye. It's time to leave the jungle and to find another adventure.